starring in a screen adaptation of Ian McEwan's book, The Cement Garden, at the tender age of 10, our first guest has gone on to appear in numerous television programmes and stage productions. She's currently pulling pints and setting pulses racing as the Dale's resident man-eater, Maisie Wilde. But things have got a whole lot more complicated recently, and it seems that she's unwittingly fallen for a man who's only turned out to be her brother. You listen to me. You're seeing everything as bad and negative. Because it is. Because you're unhappy and anxious, and that's why you're drinking so much. Are you listening? Yes. I asked you to take a break from work because you were already struggling. I hate myself. I'm not even going to listen to that silly talk. Is there something you want to tell me? Has somebody hurt you? Just me. Please welcome Alice Coulter. <laughs> What what is going on? Yeah. yeah. Um, well, you got yourself into a right pickle there. Yeah, you? she's in a bit of a state this week. Um, well, she's been in a state actually for age. Actually, and I've been in a state for about because I've been there was there's kind of the lead up to her falling in love with her brother before she knew he was her brother, but he was her best friend's boyfriend, so that was quite traumatic. And then obviously found out he was her brother, all the family trauma, and now she's having a total breakdown. So and um, she's just lost her, her dad's walked out so supposedly because yeah. we know yeah. what yeah. really happened. But so I'm who's not older? No, 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 don't tell me. Who's the mother? Has she got? Have you got different mums? You and 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 the brother. The brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amanda yeah. Donahoe is your mum. Yeah, she's she? my mum. Right. Yeah. And you're so angry with her, aren't you? I am. That's I mean, very good casting. You can see the likeness, actually, there, yeah. can't you? Yes, you do. Mm. Thank you. That's a compliment. It is. Yeah. She's a great character. I mean, you you came in and you just made such a big splash, didn't you? Um, I don't know, did I? Yeah, <laughs> you did. I mean, yeah. you, know, you haven't kind of snuck in. You've had an amazing story. Well, I was you? really... Yeah, I mean, I was... Lucky to have, I mean, she was a really kind of exciting character from the beginning, you know, she's kind of flirtatious and outgoing, and so that's kind of fun to play from the beginning. Well, that's really exaggerated um, right now because obviously she's not knowing how to deal with this, this, these sets of feelings that she's got because it is an awful thing to be attracted to somebody that you've, you've then subsequently discover is it's wrong. There's that kind of whole ew, thing about it. Yeah, I mean, I think and that's she's kind drinking of hard and flirting what's hard. What's behind now, the she? kind of full on breakdown, which is on screen this week is the kind of the, the kind of self hatred of the fact that she could feel like that but and of course it's not her fault but she she kind of blames herself which... but also you I mean she's struggling with the fact that she can't stop feeling drawn to her brother yeah. in that way how that... do you if you mm. if you're in love with somebody I mean I'm sure lots stop, of people I've been in, yeah. not with my brother but mm. um, mm. with you know when I've been in love with somebody and I know I shouldn't be anymore and it's you know, it's But it's torture. interesting how often that happens. It does happen in real life, doesn't it? The, the things like, like that. They yeah, say it, that, it, it, you know, it, you, it does. If you it's don't actually know quite common. you're attracted to... If you don't know you are related to them, yeah. you are attracted Even to Even when people find out, uh, when families are reunited, it can happen with parents and children, it's quite common. Yeah. I spoke, yeah. spoke to some counsellors about it who've dealt with people who've been through a similar thing. Um, with parents and children and with sibling relationships, when they're reunited, if they, e even if they know that they are actually related, the feelings that they experience are feelings of kind of sexual infatuation, or well, that's what they mistake it for, and they kind of want to have a kind of sexual relationship with each other mm. because there's so many complicated feelings so complicated, tied up in it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you've got your own complicated situation going on in as much as that you have found your Mr Right and you're set to marry this year, but I would imagine that... Um, you moving um, up to up north has put a bit of a, a separation between the two yeah, of you. Yeah, it's hard. I mean, yeah, it's, 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 yeah it's, that's the hard... I mean, I love Emmerdale, but the hardest... If I could move it to London, I would. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah it's really hard because, I mean, he's, he's in a band and he's got his own commitments in Oh, look, London. we could talk. We could oh. talk. <laughs> <laughs> we could really talk. Yeah. yeah. Are you commuting the whole time, then? Yeah, I just come back and forth kind of whenever I can, basically. I mean, I'm, I always come back at weekends, but, you know, mm. if I've got a kind of easier filming schedule... Oh, you should join her Thursday night club. She's got all these mates on the train that she gets a oh, bit... Oh, yeah. With <laughs> a glass of wine on the way home, it makes life much easier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Glass of wine does help the journey. When are you yeah, getting married? Um, in July. Wow. Oh. In a meadow, is that right? Yeah. Is in... that because of Emmerdale? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's definitely not because of me either, because I was born and bred in London and I was like a total city girl until I met my boyfriend and he's from Norfolk and he's like a real country lover. And uh, when I first met him, it, it's quite, it sounds quite corny, but we, the second date that we went on, he took me to his dad's house in Norfolk, his beautiful little house in Norfolk. And, um, 
and we walked through this meadow, which is just around the corner, and he said, there's one tree in the middle of the meadow, and he said, um, I've always wanted to get married under that tree. Aww. And so then when he asked me to marry him, that seemed like an obvious place. And I'm from London, so Aww. it's not quite as romantic in London. So gorgeous. <laughs> nice. Oh. Does he write songs by any chance? Um, he, well, he, do, he does with his band. He doesn't, he doesn't write songs. He hasn't write, written a song about me, actually. No. <laughs> well, he will. should bring that up. Yeah. <laughs> we were just on about um, image as well. Do you like what you see? You've got to like what you see when you look in the mirror. Please tell us. Well, Give I us hope. Talk, we were just discussing this in the back room. I don't think anybody, anybody looks in the mirror and is totally happy with what they see. I think that is just human nature. But I think that how secure you are in yourself. We, we've all got things we don't like about ourselves, but you only get really, really stressed out about them if you're just not happy in mm. yourself mm. anyway. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So. I'd be Very happy true. if I look like you, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to meet you. Good luck with Thank the wedding. You. I hope that the meadow is a, is a field of dreams for you, I really do. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Alice Queen.